Hi, I'm Patsy Wood, and um, I own a catering business and um, have a very busy life. My day starts really early. Um, I get out and walk or run um, four miles and then come back and start a um, very busy day of um, working on my catering uh, business. And my husband has Alzheimer's, um, so three days out of the week I have to get him up, um, dressed, bathed, um, and take him to a living center where he stays all day. And then um, pick him up in the evenings and, and feed him and undress him and get him ready for bed and then continue working with you know whatever I have to do with getting ready for for catering or actually going out to events. I would describe myself as optimistic, um, pretty energetic, um, friendly, but most of all blessed. Things that make me strong are Number one, my faith. Um, God is what gets me through um, the challenges that I have faced. Um, a wonderful network of friends and a great family. The challenges that I face are um, at the age of 45, having a husband diagnosed with Alzheimer's, with early onset Alzheimer's, and um, going from a two-income um, wage family to a family where I am the provider and to making all the decisions for a family and um, to make difficult decisions that have to do with um, care for my husband. In the last 10 years my life has changed greatly. Um, I went from having a very vibrant um, husband and a great marriage um, to facing um, the realization that you know my husband was never going to be the same and because Alzheimer's doesn't there is no cure for Alzheimer's um, at the very beginning um, I prayed <laughs> prayed and prayed for a miracle and um, I guess after a while then I I realized that there wasn't a miracle in store for him um, but that I had to take the blessings that I've been given. Ten years ago, I was probably um, I don't want to say I was any happier than I am now. I'm very happy now. Um, I, I guess I was um, had a lot less stress and you know a hopeful future looking towards um, a great future with my husband um, and so I would say probably more hopeful and um, but I'm very um, I was happy then but I am happy now also before my husband was diagnosed with, all, with, with Alzheimer's our relationship um, was great it was like a, um, I remember saying one night to a friend um, not long before Tim was diagnosed with, with Alzheimer's that I had the perfect life and I had um, a beautiful home, a wonderful son, a great husband, everything that you would want and then within less than a year I had the devastating news um, of his diagnosis. Um, now the love that I have for my husband as a partner has turned into the love of a caregiver. And so it's changed. Um, Tim is very bad at this point and does not speak um, at all. And he requires constant care. So I love him as though you would love someone that cannot take care of themselves. This picture I would say was probably taken about 20 years ago when the photographer comes to the church and takes your picture and um, this was before um, Tim was diagnosed with Alzheimer's um, because the very first thing that I noticed with the Alzheimer's is you lose the look of um, in your eyes. Um, I noticed his eyes changed and um, I, 
can see that he has the healthy look in this picture. Lots and lots of memories um, in these pages. Yeah. Great, great memories. I have a son, Ryan, um, he's now 26, and he was 15 when his dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and he has, um, since that time, helped me a lot with his dad. Um, he has done everything from bathe him to change his diapers to feed, now we feed him, and so he has been a, a great, great help to me in, in every way with helping with his dad. Yeah, the very, the very favorite vacation I think that we took is a um, three-week trip to California and we um, flew into San Diego and then rented a car and went all over the state of California over a three-week period and really um, it was, but it was just before Tim was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and it was probably the very first time that I realized that there was something going on with Tim and um, that he was starting to forget things that he would, would not have forgotten um, and kept asking me um, where we were headed on a particular day or what the name of the hotel was. And so that um, is bittersweet. It was a wonderful vacation, but it was the last vacation that he was totally healthy. Okay. I'm, I'm very blessed to um, have a business that um, is thriving, that um, especially helps me to pay for the expense of my husband's care, daycare, um, and health care. Um, I am so blessed to have so many wonderful friends um, that look out for me, that care about me and um, blessed to have a great family.